Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. If you hear my dogs dancing in the background, that's because they're celebrating the fact that Windows Vista Service Pack 1 has officially been released, at least on uh, Windows Update. So if you are running Windows Vista, uh, feel free to download that Windows Update and install it. You know that uh, you will be prompted to set a system restore point so that if Vista Service Pack 1 doesn't work out for you, you can always roll back. Of course, if you have any other backup software or other mechanism in there, uh, I think it would be fine to run it as well because you never know what's going to happen when you install a Service Pack. I have had both ups and downs with Windows Vista Service Pack 1, earlier betas, which I was uh, privy to installing uh, and using as a, an official beta tester with Microsoft. Uh, mm, performance was definitely better. Uh, don't download it thinking you're going to get a lot of new features because quite honestly you're not. A lot of the UI quirks uh, are still in place. Uh, this is just, you know, kind of a series of, of bug fixes. Uh, a lot of them related to USB stability, uh, some power management issues. Uh, now, I believe uh, Vista will support, in certain configurations, EFI instead of just BIOS, which is great. It's good to see uh, Microsoft uh, uh, picking up that ball and running with it and, and, and trying to move the PC into a completely different realm in terms of performance and in terms of really dealing with today's hardware with today's software. Uh, I'm not going to go into you know too much detail, uh, largely because people have been asking all day, not about the detail, but more, should I install Service Pack 1? And, and my answer is yes, but if it doesn't work, roll back. I, if you want to run Vista, that's your prerogative. If you run, want to run XP, that's your prerogative. If you want to run something other than Windows, that's your prerogative. Uh, but I have always been a bit more willing to install service packs than some others. CC Mike in the chat room at live.perilla.com I know is not too hip uh, to install as, as these bug fixes or these roll-ups as, as much as I am. And, and, you know, for whatever reason, everybody's got their own set of reasoning uh, for doing things or not doing things. It's, uh, you know, by and large, I think going to bring Vista to a point where I'd be more ready to accept it as a final release of an operating system. I've long argued that Vista, before Service Pack 1, it ran like a beta, and I'm not the only one who said that. There have been credentialed journalists in the field who have pretty much asserted the same things I've been asserting for you know well over a year, um, you know long before Vista was officially quote unquote final. You know a service pack is generally a good thing if if only for the security updates. And I know Microsoft has been working long and hard on Service Pack One, and they are to be absolutely commended um, for you know getting it out sooner rather than later. Uh, there are, I'm sure, certainly going to be issues with this release. And you notice behind me I've got the uh, Windows Vista blog at windowsvistablog.com pulled up. And that's Nick White. And old-time fans of my broadcast uh, might remember when uh, we had Nick on to talk about various and sundry things. This was long before Vista was a reality. So, you know, I asked the chat room, I've got here Windows Vista Ultimate right here. Um, I asked them, you know, what they thought, and I, uh, before the poll went down in the live stream, about 47% of our live viewers, about 550 of them right now, 47% um, said that, yes, that's Vista Service Pack 1 should be a good thing. About 12% weighed in saying, eh, no, so they're likely going to wait. And the, I had a third option saying, I don't have or want Vista. And that was interesting, because that ended up being right around 37%. Now, my crowd tends to be, uh, you know, it's, we're cutting edge, right? We're, uh, we're extreme geeks. We love technology. We love software, hardware. We just love talking about this stuff. It doesn't matter who makes it. We just like it, you know? Uh, and that's the way I look at, really, anything. Software, hardware, it doesn't matter. We, you know, we give it our honest review, and you know, 
try to shoot from the hip as much as possible instead of posturing and playing politics, which sometimes lands us into trouble. But, you know, usually our gut reactions are the right reactions. And everyone's going to have, you know, absolutely different experiences. Data Lore, another uh, op in our chat room, uh, really never had a problem with Windows Vista. And, you know, we didn't really go around and around about that. I can't say that he did because if he didn't have a problem, he didn't have a problem. But, uh, you know, I'm just curious. I'm recommending that people install Service Pack 1, knowing that they could roll back with relative ease if uh, issues do ensue. Uh, but what do you guys think? Uh, are you going to install Service Pack 1? What is the number one reason you would install Service Pack 1? Are you going to recommend that other people install Service Pack 1 if you're even using Windows Vista in the first place? I mean, you know, it's... I Do you even have Windows Vista in a CD or in a case? It's just kind of... It's kind of funny. Um, many people don't even have manuals anymore. It's all like virtual. And uh, you, your operating system may have come pre-installed on your computer. You may not have a, an actual Vista CD. Um, usually the, the OEM or the PC manufacturer made it so that you could roll back to the original um, starting point that you're, the, you know, the configuration that your uh, uh, computer shipped with. But uh, I don't even know if you guys even have a Vista CD lying around, a recovery CD. That's what a lot of people have. Uh, maybe I'm the only one who's actually got one of these. I, you know, I uh, I sliced a finger uh, when I was opening up a uh, Vista box. Sliced a finger, and I didn't even. That was before I even had a chance to really play with it. I told you that they were excited. It was a little delayed reaction there. They were just kind of whispering. They, the microphone couldn't pick them up, but uh, now they. You heard them, my dogs. I wasn't kidding. They were sitting right here. You heard them. So let me know what you think. Uh, you can feel free to email me, but better yet, why don't you leave a video response or uh, quite possibly, uh, you know, just in text, you know, type in what you think. You can send me an email. Uh, if it's a longer email, I'd love to post it to my blog, uh, you know, just for further discussion. You know, give me your stories. And I, and I know this is never going to end. Give me your your, your just your your opinion about what's what's happening right now, and it's funny. I was uh, I, I get this stuff all the time from you guys. It's really kind of cool. Um, some people send screenshots, I'm, although I don't like welcome them necessarily because I, I can't really you know deal with you know a lot of email. But someone uh, sent a, a some a screenshot of his desktop. He had configured uh, oh uh, his his Vista machine for. Uh, it to look like OS 10, which is really kind of funny. And uh, I'm going to try to zoom in here just to show it. I ended up uploading it to my uh, Flickr account, but you can see that up at the top, he's got like what's supposed to be the menu bar, and there's a start menu. There's there's a tiger, which is kind of weird. It probably should be a leopard considering the background. And there's Windows Media Center. Um, there's something that's supposed to be like stacks from the uh, dock below. This is not a screenshot of Vista Service Pack 1. It's just a screenshot of someone who uh, happens to like uh, Vista but wants it to look like OS 10. Those people always kind of confuse me. They, I think they're going through an identity crisis, but you know, I'm not here to talk about that. Anyway, uh, I see every single email that you guys pass along. Sometimes I share it with the rest of the community. And yeah, just understand I'm just a, I'm I'm a geek I like software I like hardware it doesn't matter who makes it you know I'm looking for the the best that's out there and I'm, I'm gonna give as as much uh, honest advice at least you know as honest as I can possibly be and transparent advice as possible uh, so you're welcome to stop by the chat room and even if I'm not you know discussing things directly with the chat room the great thing about it is that people are chatting like hundreds of people are talking about stuff generally related to tech hardware software internet tips tweaks you know you name it uh, but uh, you're welcome to stop by pretty much anytime day or night uh, and as mool212 says hello youtube uh, we're waiting for you so what are you waiting for we're at live.perillo.com